okay this is our second video on the worksman's PAV um, kind of in about the middle of the restoration uh, process on this I do have the propulsion system running um, I ordered uh, three of the batteries and got those in this one takes a lot of the AGM lead acid batteries that are 12 volt 12 amp hour and uh, hooked in series so it's 36 volts I'm not sure what the wattage on this motor is I think it's a 750 uh, as far as the riding impressions go that's all you want it's, it, it will run at full charge faster than it really has the mechanical capability to cope with safely uh, best most comfortable riding speed on this is a probably and I didn't have my GPS on it but I'm going to say about eight miles an hour anything faster than that and uh, steering's very twitchy brakes you know it has a coaster brake only on one wheel which tends to make it swerve the center brake which is actually mostly functional is a parking brake it's a little awkward to reach to um, but like at fast walking speeds slow jogging speeds it's really cool uh, you just kind of poke along the battery seem to run it for a long time you can pedal assist a little bit um, and I've been pedaling it up to speed and then hitting the power instead of letting that little motor try to drag my 200 pound plus frame up to speed. I kind of get it into going in third gear and then go ahead and hit the power on it. Um, I've got it all stripped down. Everything's getting painted, fenders and everything. Uh, the trunk and all is off it. So you can, this is kind of a stripped down version, which is fine actually to leave it like this. You know, if you're not going to be riding it in the rain, the fenders and all that and the trunk, they all add quite a bit of weight. So the performance of it, it's definitely this is going to be kind of the high end of it. Um, probably the fenders, the brackets, the trunk empty, um, and the trunk mounting platform and everything goes with it. Probably add probably about 20 pounds, I would think. The fender mounting brackets are really, really heavy duty, substantial, much thicker and heavier steel than they really need to be. But uh, this gives us a chance to get a really good look at everything and how it works and I showed some of this on the first video I'll show it again then I'm going to do a uh, set up the camera and uh, do a little drive by as you can see it just has that the coaster brake there this wheel actually is free spinning it doesn't do anything um, as other people have noted on these trikes there's no differential in a setup like this although you can rig it with a differential um, this doesn't have a differential so your turns on it are wide much wider than you think they would be with something this small but it's okay it gets around I mean I rode it to the grocery store and you know picked up a few things and it's fun the handlebars you know they look good and they serve that purpose to make it more recumbent put your hands pretty close together and that that kind of makes the whole thing a little more twitchy at high speeds I think than another handlebar setup would be uh, but all in all, I mean, it's a unique vehicle and it's really fun. Still got a little bit more rust removal to do. You can see uh, on the, those wheels and then the handlebars have to come off and have the rust removal done on them. And then after that, I put it all back together and it's, uh, it'll be done. Some other lucky person will get it. I probably am going to take these armrests off. I don't really care for them that much on the seat. They don't really do much for me. The seat's very comfortable though probably just remove those um, I don't know what else I was going to show I don't know if the controller needs to be replaced or not it uh, it clicks into and I think it does this intentionally you know, I'm not sure about this model of, of uh, throttle it clicks into a mode um, that will run it at a really slow walking pace like a very slow on setting so you can use it hands off um, at that really low speed but it makes it kind of dangerous to turn on because if it's clicked to there it'll go when you hit the on switch so it needs to be fully up I'm not sure and I think it feels like it has a positive little detent click there I think that actually is an intentional feature on that it's missing the little strip of plastic that went over the top of it I probably if I was going to keep it for myself I'd probably change it to a throttle twisty throttle on the grip which we may do anyway. Uh, once the batteries came in, though, all the electronics warmed up fine. No problems at all. Thought maybe, you know, who knows, the controller could have been bad or something. But it, but it, uh, everything worked great. All right, I'm going to set the camera up and it'll do a little drive-by action.
All right, here we go. Here's the Pave 3 in action. And that's it. That's the little path three so far. Get another video when I get all the fenders and all the trunk and par all parts back on it. And I'll uh, mount a camera on the bike. We'll do a ride video like that. Ride it to the store. Put some stuff in the trunk. So there it is. There's the Worksman's path three uh, with the electric assist. Thanks for watching.